the next question. It is about a aerial arc connected issue, right? So right now we uh, spoke about previously some of the basic tissues like epithelial tissues. Now we will move on to the connective tissues. And we have various types of connective tissues like areola connective tissue is there and then bone is there, then cartilage is there, they are all types of connective tissues only. Coming to this, all the connective tissues will have a first a matrix, in that some cells are there, some fibers are there, that is a basic pattern of all the types of connective tissues. They will have matrix either liquid or solid, then they have certain cells, cells are again different types. Then there are fibers that will give network or framework for the tissue. Coming to this areolar connective tissue, the diagram is given in the areolar connective tissue, you are supposed to identify what are the right alphabetical alphabets that represent the right parts. So, before that I will just read out the question, in the diagram of areolar connective tissue identify the right options that match the alphabets. Modulo diagram now uncertain. Check mark by Jana. You can see all parts are not label Madirala. Yaw the non label Madla the Barbudu. Hagage Yaw the label Madila wo Adnukuda Hilkotini. Come to the diagram. The diagram is given here. This is the diagram of aerial arc connective tissue. This diagram shows major parts, the free surfaces you are in, free places, these are all showing the matrix and the fibers. You can see the fibers. The wavy fibers, can you see the white A wavy fibers? These are made up of collagen, they are called the collagenous fibers. This is a wavy collagen fiber or a white fiber. Then these are in bundles, you can make out they are all bundles. Then coming to the yellow colored ones, you can see they are thin single one branched. These are called as elastic fibers or they are called the white fibers. These white fibers are found along with this, they are called they are made up of elastin. Then the cells we talk about. The first type of cells, the bigger ones what are found here with the highly dissected margin, these are called the fibroblasts. They produce the fibers, these are called the fibroblasts. Then other part, other types of cells, you can see some more having a kind of pseudopodia. You can see one more cell, one more cell here, two cells are there. These are called as macrophages. They are involved in normally the phagocytosis. Normally they check the pathogen entry by killing the pathogens by its engulfment, these are called macrophages. Then another type of cell is given here, this is nothing but the mast cells. Mast cells are involved in secretion, they secrete serotonin, then histamine and heparin. So these are the mast cells. So all the parts have been given here, but only few are labeled, therefore only labeled ones you are supposed to identify. So, come to the options given, A option is given, P macrophage, Q elastic fiber, R is fibroblast, S is mast cell. Let us examine, P is this, it is given as a macrophage, that is wrong answer because P is not a macrophage. So, A option is wrong. Then coming to the B option, P is fibroblast, this is the P fibroblast, again it is right one, fibroblast is the first cell, what is given here that produce the fibers. Then Q is collagen fiber, collagen fiber is this, this is collagen fiber or white fiber, this is made up of collagen, so it is right, Q is collagen fiber right. Then coming to the R, it is elastic fiber, R is given here, this is R, these are the elastic fiber, so R is right, that is elastic fiber. Then S is the mast cell, so S is here, so it is mast cell that is also right. So B may be the right option. So let us examine the remaining two options. C option says P is fibroblast, P is fibroblast is right. Q is elastic fiber, Q is not elastic fiber, it is actually white fiber. So it is wrong. R is collagen fiber is wrong again, S is macrophage, it is not correct because macrophages are here 1 and 2, they have not been labeled. The last one it is not, S is not a macrophage, it is nothing but the mast cell. Then last option P is given, the D option says first P is macrophage. This itself is wrong because macrophage is here, this is a fibroblast. Then Q is elastic fiber, it is again wrong, yellow fibers again wrong, then S is mast cell, only one is right. Therefore, among all the four, the right option must be B option.
The other question is about the types of glands, not type exactly, it is actually the type of release of secretion from the glands. Actually, the glands, you know various glands, exocrine and endocrine glands. Endocrine glands, you all are familiar, they are having no ducts, they are called ductless glands like your pituitary and thyroid and all that. Exocrine glands are those whose secretions are released to the target through the ducts, means they are duct glands, right. So coming to this duct glands, the release of secretion is having various ways. So that is given in the columns, you have to match with their examples. Coming to this question, let us read, match the following gland types and the example means gland secretion types and the, with their examples. Column A is given, column B is given. In column A, P is mirocrine, Q is apocrine, R is holocrine. Then column B, L mammary glands, M is sebaceous glands, N is sweat gland. So you have to match these alphabets exactly to their examples. So let us think about each of them. Let us talk about first one. That is a mirocrine. What is mirocrine gland? You must have been familiar with this. is a very simple and easy type of and most of the glands are mirocrine. What is it? It is actually secretion released to the surface just like diffusion. So secretion come to the tip and just comes out of it. Like sweat glands and like your goblet cells and all their secretions come just above. It gets de deposited the tip and just comes out. So that is called as a mirocrine gland. Here there is no loss of cytoplasm or anything. Then coming to the apocrine gland, it is a special type of gland in which the gland secretion once it secretes it will be in the tip and upper part will be pinched off means tip of the gland get pinched off, cuts off. And the gland in a tip in a lay secretion kutira do horagata hobe kare pinch agate and cut agi separate agho padate. Ali there is loss of cytoplasm. So that is a one kind of gland we call it as the apocrine gland. Then coming to the holocrine gland, holocrine means the complete gland itself will be ejected out. That's called a holocrine gland. The complete that cell is ejected out, which is having the secretion, it comes out. Right? So we have examples: mammary glands, sebaceous glands, and sweat glands. So let us compare which option is right. Coming to the first one, A option says that P to M. P is mirocrine, M is sebaceous. Mirocrine, sebaceous, no. This is wrong. Sebaceous gland is the oil secreting glands. So, mirocrine glands example is not sebaceous gland. So, it is a wrong option. So, eradane option would be option P to N that is mirocrine to sweat gland. It is right option because mirocrine is sweat gland. Q to N, Q and the apocrine N, N matte adhe option kutti dhare, haga ghi option baro dhila, yaradu sarthi N barala, illi P to N idhe, Q to N idhe, haga ghi yaradu sarthi N iru dhila, idhu it must be M, haga ghi Q to M is right option, Q in the M, that is this, apocrine to sebaceous irbahu dhu, adhare idhrali idhu tappa ghi dhe, akhe apocrine sebaceous gland iru dhila, apocrine dhe tip, pinch agathan thheadu dhe, haga ghi apocrine to sebaceous is wrong option, so B option is also wrong option. Moving into the C option, P to N, P mirocrine, N sweat gland. So it is a right option because mirocrine, sweat gland, sweat glands are all mirocrine, they secrete from the tip. Then Q to L, Q is apocrine, L is mammary gland, that is correct because yavaga mammary gland in a tip ninda secretion eject agathala cut agathe one part, that is mammary gland alagathe, there is loss of cytoplasm here, hagagi Q to L is right. Then comes R to M, R in the M ide, the holocrine to M, that is also a right option because R and the holocrine, holocrine the complete gland is ejected out. Therefore, that is complete cell with the secretion comes out as in sebaceous gland. So, therefore, C option must be the right option. So, last option on note better, na? D option here, P to L, P in the L, mirocrine to memory, no, it is wrong. So, among all the four options given, the correct matched columns come under C option. So, C is the right answer.
Moving on to the next question, it is about the bone. Till now, we have learnt the tissues, how are they arranged, where are they located. Mainly, the basic tissues I have explained you, and the epithelial tissues, basic connective tissue, and the areolar connective tissue. This is the connective tissue, that is bone. Bone, you mostly you know the gala, Hachagi Haversion system, Matra, new culture. That is, bone basically new calibrated in the longitudinal section of a long bone. One though, bone in a udda katarsidaga, hey kanta de anta. So, other than each other, the kodli de. One is a in question is in the following LS of bone parts are labeled with alphabets. Find out the rightly labeled options. And the Kotiro Chitradali, Yava alphabet, Yava Kasaria the part and a hail Korta the another new Kalibeko. First, we'll move to the diagram. You can see this is the LS of bone. This part shows LS, this part shows TS. Both the things are given here. The first part is LS, this is the TS of the bone. And the section is through the bone marrow cavity. This is the bone marrow cavity. And here in LS, you can see the Lines, these are nothing but Haversian systems running. Actually, bone is one day, number of Haversian systems run parallel to the bone axis. Even Haversian systems. They are connected also transversely. Then coming to this, this is the TS of the bone. These Haversian systems are open. Haversian canal surrounded by the bone matrix. In bone, the matrix is called osin. Osin is made up of protein called that is. Osin itself is a bone protein and here it is solid. The matrix is solid and it forms ring like structures around the Haversian canal. They are called the bone lamellae. Right? Actually, we call it as from the age birth, after some days there will be ossification, addition of the bone lamellae. Bones strong are ossification. This is Haversian canal surrounded by bone lamellae and then in each bone lamella, you get number of small small openings called as lacuna, in which you get osteocytes, and there are bone cells. One do lacuna ge, one day osteocyte. Compared to Nenup Madkoli, the chondrin or the cartilage, when you learn, there in each lacuna you get two to four chondroblasts or chondrocytes illi onde irutte ivellanu kuda bere bere prashnegalalli barabahudu adakkage avanella idondu diagram alli cover madabahudu illi osteocytes anna matte bone lamella anna connect madodu number of you can see protoplasmic connections we call them as canaliculi canaliculi are the connecting links between the bone lamella osteocyte to osteocyte and lamella to lamella haversian system to haversian system then the bone has two coverings. The inner covering is called endosteum. The outermost covering is called the periosteum. Endosteum and the periosteum. One in the bone marrow sutta erodo endosteum. One erodo periosteum. E erdu part alle normally the cells are formed. They are called the bone actually cells osteoblasts. In the form magi they will enter down and they get into the lacuna. So this is the LS of this. And normally in the diagrams, normally whatever you get the question, one Haversian system will be given. This is one Haversian system. One, two, three, four, half it is given. So this is actually mammalian bone. If you get only one, it is a bone of a frog. Frog bone, one day one Haversian system. Humans are sumar Haversian system. E bone, one Haversian system, these parts are special like label and the first you expect. This is the right option. The first option is P is bone marrow. This P, it is bone marrow, that is right. Correct. Q is periosteum. This is Q, this is periosteum. As just now I explained, periosteum is a wrong answer because it is an inner lining of the bone. Therefore, it is not correct. Then coming to the second option. P is marrow cavity. This is only marrow cavity or bone marrow cavity. Q is endosteum. This is Q which is endosteum. It is right. Endosteum is bone in the inner covering. That is correct. Then R is canaliculi. You can see the thin threads. These threads are nothing but canaliculi. They are connecting the lamellae and haversian systems. So that is the right thing. Then last one S is periosteum. This is periosteum. It is the outermost covering of the bone. Therefore, it must be the right option. But before you decide it is right option, let us see in the option. C option in P is osteon. 
P is osteal, it is a wrong option. So, C is the wrong option. D option, P is the bone marrow, this is correct. But Q is lamellae, Q is not lamellae, Q is lamellae and the bone matrix, that is wrong. So, coming on to the all four options, the right option may be B because in this P is given as marrow cavity, this is bone marrow cavity, it is right. Q is the endosteum, it is right. R is canaliculi, this is also connecting protoplasmic connection, they are right. Then last is periosteum, S is periosteum. So, this is the right option that is B.